are you still loping here? Yeah, I, I know, you know, the shit at the fan, you know, there's been a major collapse and everything. Uh, but, you know, you just, you can't live in a cave like this. You get all these you know, cardboard over the windows and everything. It's, just, it's depressing. We need to live again. It's America. Let's, uh, well, I'm going to start by taking this down right here. It's time to... Hey everybody, this is Praxis and I'm here at Normal House. And I'm doing another project to try to make this place a little bit less problematic for the time while I'm here. If you've uh, been watching this series that I've been putting together on this, what I'm doing is I'm trying to upgrade a house so that it performs a little bit better in terms of energy and very inexpensive things that you can do to make your place not perfect but maybe better. Uh, and I'm focusing on ideas that are really inexpensive and kind of short term. Uh, a lot of the things I've been doing in this series is not the kind of stuff that you would necessarily want to do for like a decade fix. And this, what I'm about to do right here, is a good example of that. What I'm going to do here, you would not want to do on a prolonged basis at your house just as I'm doing it. But this would be a first step, and then you could do some other things that would make it a little bit more permanent. So what I'm doing today is I want to seal up this window a little better. I, it is cold outside. Baby, it's cold outside. It's not even that cold outside, but it's cold-ish outside. It's windy. I can feel air coming in around this thing. Just the glass itself is very cold. And if you think about a radiator is a hot object that radiates out heat, this is almost like an, a, a cool radiator that's radiating cold into the room. I know, you know, I, I know science and I know that's not a accurate description of how energy moves, but that's what it feels like, is that this is just radiating cold into this room. And that's a bad situation if you want to keep your house warm. The first thing I'm going to be using is a towel. We're going to put a towel up over the window and that is going, it's like a blanket, you know, very warm. It's going to, you know, prevent a lot of heat from going out through there. Once we get the towel up, I have another layer of cardboard that we're going to put up over this. And this is just stuff that I had from moving and getting, you know, some, some Ikea furniture. Was this Ikea? I'm not sure. I had a terrible experience with Ikea delivering stuff. They stood me up four times and I had a really rude customer service when I was asking them, like, are you guys ever going to show up? It was terrible. Really awful. Awful, awful. I should make a whole video just on that. But anyway, I got a bunch of free cardboard out of it. Your cardboard is actually a pretty good insulator. If you think about corrugated cardboard, it has two outer layers and then that squiggly inside layer, and it makes a bunch of closed air spaces where, I mean, that's exactly what insulation is. It's a bunch of air spaces. Uh, well, I guess there's vacuum insulation too, but you know, most of the time it's just making a bunch of closed air spaces, so it takes time for heat to move from one side to the other. Uh, if you wanted to do this on a more uh, you know, prolonged basis, I would suggest doing another step that I'm not going to do today, and that is to put plastic up over the window. And the reason for that is because uh, moisture, water vapor, is going to go right through the cardboard. It's going to go right through my towel. These things are not going to stop humidity, and that humidity, when it gets to the window, is going to condense and then go down and you know, make the, the sills wet and stuff like that. I'm only here for a year, and my god, these things are already covered in mildew anyway, so I'm not really worried about that. But if you were going to do something like that, this at your home, you could do exactly what I'm doing and just add that vapor barrier at the end. And I would suggest you know, just some kind of plastic would be great for that. I know people sell like special window ceiling kits. You know, I think they're like $15, and you could maybe do three or four windows about this size with a kit like that. I, you know. That's effective, but it's an awful expensive way of doing it. If I were going to do something like that, I would just get some regular painters, you know, drop plastic, like the four mil cheap stuff. It's kind of translucent. It's, you can't totally see through it or anything, but I mean, you know, it's not going to be a problem because you got a towel there anyway. You're not going to see it out of this window. Just get some cheap plastic like that, and then you can just kind of tape that stuff up. It's going to do just as uh, good of a job as the expensive, like, window seal plastic, uh, except it's going to be a lot less expensive for you. So let's get started with this project right here. Just taking this, uh, um, this towel, and these windows are made out of wood, so in order to affix this up there, I'm just going to be using some thumbtacks. There we go. Okay, nice and easy. Okay, that one went in totally fine. 
Uh, next thing I'm going to do is just kind of tuck it up like this because you don't want uh, the air to be very e easily moving from the top area to the bottom area. Again, the whole purpose of insulation is to slow down that air movement, slow down that uh, transfer of heat. So I'm going to tuck it in around these corners just like this. Okay, so now we've got a nice surface here that is really going to be cutting down on the uh, on the heat radiating out through this window. But we're not done yet because I've got an extra layer here and we're going to use it. So I'm taking this piece of cardboard next and some of these I was able to cut pretty much exactly the size of the window. Some of them are not quite the exact size of the window. If you have a piece of cardboard and it is not exactly the size of your window, you want it good right to left because that's where you can kind of snug it in. Uh, so you want it to be you know wide enough. But if it's not quite high enough, my suggestion would be to have the gap up near the top because cold air is heavier, it's more dense, so it tends to sink, and you want that cold air to sink down into something that's going to catch it, as opposed to having dead air space and with a hole at the bottom, and then all the cold air is going to just kind of dump out through that hole at the bottom. And the absolute worst thing you could do would be to have a little gap at the top and a little gap at the bottom. That would actually be a convection system that would streamline, <laughs> which would streamline uh, cold air moving through it, because warm air would get drawn into the top. It would, it would cool, get heavier, it would create a vacuum to draw more in, and uh, that would actually make things worse if, if by putting up the cardboard if you have a gap at the top and the bottom. So uh, have it nice and snug right at the bottom. Leave the gap at the top if you, if you must. Ideally, you would be able to get the cardboard to be big enough, but if not, just have it be filled in at the bottom. All right, I'm going to snug this guy right in here. It's nice and snug right at the bottom, and there we go. Hi. Right. It's not beautiful, but it's very functional. It's going to uh, definitely uh, cut down on the, the heat going out through this window, and every little bit counts. I know that when I got here, just changing the light bulbs out from regular, like old-fashioned incandescent bulbs to LEDs, I saved over $200 of electricity in the first month alone. I, maybe there are some other things that I did too, but I know the last time that the old people were here who used to own this place, and the first uh, month that I was here, there was a $200 difference, or so, it wasn't exactly $200, I think it was even more than that. But there was a huge difference just by me doing tiny little things, switching out light bulbs, covering windows. Hopefully this is gonna save me a lot of money on oil, and I can put that money into the next homestead as opposed to, you know, having it blow out the window. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.